fish head soup. Yes, you heard me right. This is Chef Kevin and I'm making fish head soup. This is a nice, healthy, flavorful soup. These are the ingredients. I have two quarts of homemade fish stock. Now the fish I used was two catfish heads and two cod fish heads. The veg vegetables I have in there are your usual onion, celery, carrots. I put a bay leaf in, a little garlic, some cilantro, and some rosemary. So there's quite a lot of flavor in this homemade stock. I have one pound of meat that was extracted from the heads. Fingerling potatoes, different colors, very pretty. Two corns. Diced tomatoes. And a little wine. Watch how I do it. It's quiet. Shut up, a customer. Come on. Yes, madam. What kind of fish have you? Tuna fish, cod fish, shellfish, fish, dolphins, first tuna, second tuna, barracuda, bass. You don't shut up. I'll knock you on the head. How about some catfish? Catfish. 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 <laughs> hey, look. A skeleton fish. Skeleton fish. Oh. Okay, I have two corns here. And I decided this would be the best way to go because I certainly don't want to use that crappy canned corn. And I don't want to use the frozen corn. So what I'm going to do is I'm melting some butter here. And not just any butter, but Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. This is a really high-end butter. It's very tasty. You can get it just for any supermarket. Well, at least around here in New York City you can. In New York City you can get just about anything you want. And sometimes you get things that you don't even want. But that'll be a different video. Anyway, so I'm going to coat these corns up and put them onto the broiler and this will bring out the full taste of the corn, the nutty taste of the corn. Just going to apply the butter. You can see the, the herbs in here. Now this is a really sustainable dish. I mean, when you're using the, the heads of a fish, you can't get any more sustainable than that. A lot of people are turned off by it because there's, they're not just used to it. Okay, these are going under the broiler. Ten minutes. I'll flip them over at five minutes. So five minutes each side. Okay, the corn just came out of the broiler. Actually, it took 10 minutes each side, but it has a nice char on it. This is what you want. This will bring out the real nutty taste of the corn. Now, you can use whatever vegetables you like. These are what I like. I think this is gonna go well. So, if you have your favorite vegetables, feel free to use them. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is prep my potatoes. Okay folks, I have all my ingredients here ready to go. The fish stock, I pulled the what little fat was on top of, I pulled that off. Now I'm going to pour this into the pot and I want you to take a look at it. It's like jello. 
There's the second one. See how thick that is? That's not bad. That's gelatin from the bones. That is the healthy stuff. Okay, I'm going to bring that to a boil. First thing I'm going to do is add my fingerling potatoes. I cut them up, rinse them in cold water, get some of that starch out of there. I'm going to put this in first because all the other ingredients are basically cooked. I have my corn ready to go. It's already cooked. My fish already cooked. So what I'm going to do is bring that to a boil and then put the potatoes in. The stock is boiling away. I'm going to put my fingerling potatoes in there. That should take about 10 minutes to cook perhaps. And I'll stab it with a fork to see if it's tender or not. I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt at this point and a little black pepper as well. I almost forgot my wine. This is a dry wine, dry white wine, Pinot Grigio. This is about a cup. This just gives it another layer of flavor. The alcohol will burn off in a few minutes. The potatoes are cooked off nicely. Bringing it down to a simmer now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some fish sauce. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with fish, fish sauce or not. Uh, this is used in Asian cuisine quite a lot. And it's actually made from fermenting fish, rotting fish. Now, the smell of this is awful. This will gag a maggot but it works really well in Asian food and soups as well, especially if they're fish-based. This is extremely potent. That was maybe two teaspoons. Okay, all the other ingredients are already cooked. I'm going to go ahead and put my tomatoes in there. Put my corn in there. And I'm going to put my beautiful fish in there. Catfish and codfish head meat. Now I'm basically just going to simmer this for a few minutes so that all the flavors come together and then I'll, I'll plate it. I'm liking the consistency of it. It's thick but not overly thick. Gonna be good. Okay, last ingredient is dill. I just love dill, the flavor of dill, so I'm putting dill in there. And when you put a, an, an herb in there, you do that very last so it doesn't just disintegrate into mush. Okay, I'm going to pull this off and serve it. Here it is folks, your fish head soup is ready. Served with a side of garlic bread. This is loaded with fish head meat, potatoes, and roasted corn, and some tomatoes as well, diced tomatoes. Fish head soup, it's what's for dinner.